for Sean and I have come here to one of the kibbutzes that was um, home to 1200 people and just walking around you could see what was once such a, a beautiful peaceful community but we've walked through and listened to um, Jeffrey who was here at the time and sadly his sister was brutally murdered and Jeffrey lives just up the road and um, we've heard the stories of over a hundred people that were brutally murdered, torched, raped and just in some of the things that we've seen there's not even a word that can describe it and you can see behind us a father and his eight month old child who was murdered here together. But um, it's been a heavy day to, to see what's happened here and you can understand how people and Jewish people throughout the world are hurting um, from this October 7 event. And this kibbutz is, is a, about 1,200 1, 1, um, people live in this community. It's four kilometres away from Gaza. Um, they were raided at 6.30 6 in the morning. Um, with 500, 500 Hamas terrorists raided this community and randomly and sporadically um, went about killing and murdering women, children, men um, and completely um, wiping out families. Um, I don't know how people place value on one group of people's life over another. Um, you know, the killing of any people is not acceptable. Um, but to suggest that these people here's life are less valuable um, than others um, is a crime in itself. Um, don't get me wrong, this is absolutely about um, the hate for the Jewish people. Um, and Hamas's intention was to completely wipe out this whole community of 1,200 people. Um, thankfully, these people are resilient. They will rebuild. Um, they, they will hopefully move back in. Um, uh, but you know the, the devastation and being here in person is 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 completely unbelievable.